Good job. Four seconds.
ball and you were in it, you didn't get up quickly enough. Seven nine.
Kendra. Kendra leads one to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, refreshments are available. Bobbin has set up the Bay Club Bar right behind our gallery, Court 2. Beverages are available for sale. Please enjoy the responsible.
And what is the change in focus and tactics, tactics between you playing a three out of five and playing a two out of three? I mean, you have to be ready for the first rally onwards. Like, it's so tough. These guys, like everybody, can play squash like pretty, pretty good. And uh, I mean, if you if you have a slow start and can can cost you the whole match, best of three instead of a best of five. So I was trying to be ready as much as I can, and yeah, I think it worked out. Good. Uh, again. You probably don't look ahead in a draw like this, but as it happens, you will be going into playing your fellow countryman, Simone Rosner. And what is special about a match like that? Oh, well, I mean, he's been the number one for, for several years now in Germany, so uh, I've been trying to, to get at his spots in the Germany and the world for like almost eight years. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's always very competitive against him. We, we play almost every day in training. so. Uh, we know our, our squash quite well, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it because we haven't played for, for quite a while on the tour, so it's going to be a good match. And, and I would think, from my perspective, that playing two out of three means it's different. It may be different than other matches you've played in the past. Will that, again, play a factor in how you look forward to it? Yes, definitely. Um, it will be more like going for shots, and it will be more like trying to hide and wait for the other ones. Uh, mistake from other ones error, so I think it will be quite intense, especially against Simon, because we know each other so well, so um, it's going to be tough, that's for sure. Um, one place that you'll definitely be able to see Rafael and Simon again is in the World Men's World Team Championships, which is coming to Washington, D.C. in December. Um, it's still a long way away, you have a very packed schedule on the PSA World Tour till then, but what are the team goals when you look forward to the World Team Championships? Well, I... We, we both play pretty good squash and our number three is trying hard to get that spot in the German, the German team. So I think everything is, everything is possible really. So, um, if we get the wins, like, it's just three players in the team. So if Sim and I can get the win and uh, we can get to the semi-finals, I think that's a pretty good goal. And maybe if we have a good day, like, everything is possible. All right, well, good luck in December. Good luck uh, in two days as you play on Thursday. Um, and we wish you well in that and the rest of the tournament. Raphael Kanner. We'll have a 10 minute break and we'll come back to our third match, which is a women's match. We'll be back shortly. Please enjoy the beverages at Ovid's Bar.
2019 in this first round match for the United States to serve Belgium to receive three games. Level.
Thank you. 
Could we give a, a large hand again to Tina Gillis? Congratulations, Olivia. You're through to the round of 16 of this tournament. How do you feel about the match? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it was just flat there. The ball was flying, so I was trying the best I could to just control it and stay in front of her. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, it's pretty long rallies, and I was just trying to keep my composure. And at the end there, I was getting a little nervous, but um, she's obviously a major fighter out there. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be through it. You've risen up the women's rankings on the PSA Tour fairly quickly to 39 in the world. Um, do you approach a season that you're really just starting now with some goals for both halves this fall and next spring? Yeah, I mean, my, my goal for this season is to bring in the top 25. Um, I am not going to break me down by first half and second half, but um, that's my goal. And uh, I'm happy to be having the opportunity to play in these big events, which I wasn't able to do last year. Um, until the end, really, so, yeah, just uh, giving it my best and taking a match by match. Um, the women of the tour have a, a very special event this fall, I guess in a couple of months, the Women's World Championships will be in Cairo, again, by the Pyramids. I assume you maybe have played in Cairo, but have you ever played by the Pyramids? I have never actually been in Egypt, ever before, so um, this is going to be my first time, and I'm really excited. Obviously, um, it doesn't get as exciting as the World Championships being in Egypt, where there's so many incredible players coming out of the programs there. So, yeah, really excited. I mean, I love the opportunity to play on that glass court, so I'm very grateful for my time to do that. Um, I, I know that you've uh, worked with maybe perhaps several coaches, but particularly um, Peter Nickel has been someone very much looking at your game. What does a world champion and a veteran like Peter Nickel bring for your strategy and your focus? Yeah, working with Peter is incredible. Um, I feel very lucky to have, um, yeah, kind of been matched up with him. Um, he, it's actually funny because he's very much so about working on like the physicality of the game and a very strategic and tactical thinker. And I tend to be more technical and I focus on these nitty gritty details a lot. So it's kind of perfect because he um, kind of counteracts that and gets me to think about the game in a different way. And uh, obviously, every session with him, I'm just learning so much. Um, so yeah, he's amazing. I did ask Melissa Alves earlier about the difference between being a collegiate. You're a year out of Princeton University. You've been on the tour full time for a year. What has been the biggest difference in your approach to squash from a year ago to now? Um, I think I'm just, I mean, I have a lot more time on my hands, uh, so I don't have to really do the, the work and, uh, and squash balance anymore. I'm able to really prioritize squash and dedicate all my energy to it, so I've been able to really kind of pay attention to all the small details that I didn't have time to do before. So just when it comes to, you know, doing a proper warm-up and proper cool-down, that's like a physio every week. And, uh, yeah, and just the intensity, I think, of the sessions and the, the attention to detail is so much greater than before. Um, and obviously it was a really fun training with all of my best friends every day, um, but now I'm able to be a bit more selfish and really focus on what I need to, so. Great. Well, good luck in the tournament. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. And ladies and gentlemen, we have about another 10 minute break before we come back with the concluding match of this evening's program. Thank you.
the session at noon, the session at 4 o'clock. And then on Thursday, there are matches at three locations. A full day here, again, at noon at 4 o'clock. And a session at the Olympic Club and a session at the University Club. Those matches will determine the final eight players of the men's and women's draws. Those draws feature a good prize money of $120,000. And those eight players will start in the quarterfinals on the glass court at the Park at Arrow Plaza. On Friday, beginning at 6.45. Tickets are still available for select glass court sessions. They're sold out for Friday. They are nearly sold out for Saturday and Sunday. And some tickets are available still for the finals on Monday the 30th. Before we finish tonight, I just want to send a special thank you to the Bay Club. Bay Club San Francisco, particularly is represented by Eric Chacon and Bailey Bondi. And Moses. And all the other pros here in Vegas have been tremendously happy. Thank you so much for the support and work. And do we have players ready? It is a great pleasure to introduce to you from India, world number 49, Remit Tanner. From France, a man who has been in the top ten of the BSA World Tour, represented his country, France, in any number of European and international team competitions, now ranked 22. Please welcome Matthew Castanet. <laughs> Your referee is Greg Van Stapper. Once again, the match is two out of three games. Enjoy the squash. Thank you.
from the cast again.
for attending, please. Gentlemen, we don't have a board attending. You just
four.
Shackle, please. Stroke to Castanier. Thank you. 
six. yourself. Just a moment though. Even though that was a two out of three match, it seems like you both expended a tremendous amount of energy out there. I know I'm pretty lucky to get the free games to Well, you, I'll talk for a minute. You get your breath. But I did speak I did speak with you earlier about two out of three and you said you felt it fit your focus. It, it had some advantages for you. Clearly it did tonight. What are those advantages? The thing is, uh, for me, I think it's a good idea to play best of three games because players um, are struggling a lot with injuries during the season. 
and I think it's uh, the best five forwards. So when we pay 50, 70, 100,000 dollars, when the organization are okay about, about this format, I think it's pretty cool for us. We can uh, you know, focus on the Grand Chelem, Super Series 11, best of five, and then we can train differently for a new strategy for best of three. So, had a lot of injuries. For me, this format is just amazing for me. You've been at the top of the game. You've been in World Series quarterfinals, if not semifinals. You are at a ranking level that uh, hasn't been the case for most of the, the sweet spot of your career. What's it like to try to get back to the top? I just tried to stop my injuries first, and I trained nine weeks in a row this summer without any pain, without any injuries. And um, I changed all my, my, my strategy of training. I'm doing less on the courts. I'm not doing ghosting anymore. I'm just going on court just to train, doing some match and some routines, but not more than four times a week. I'm trying to do more solo as well. And uh, if I play a match against the tough guys, I try to have at least 12, 24 hours or 48 hours of recovery. I'm just doing solos, you know. So I don't take any risks now, so I just want to be 100% in tournaments. And uh, if I get injured in tournament, it doesn't really matter, you know, because you have to be at 100, at least 120 percent So I don't want to get injured again in any training, you know. So at the moment, I'm walking, and um, if I keep playing, and maybe my level will improve again. So uh, why not my working with God, maybe? Um, you have a pretty good support group of French uh, friends and players here. Does it matter to have a, a, a great group that's here cheering you back on? Yes, it's really important because, for example, uh, in Nantes we had the French crowd, we had whole friends and family, and it helps a lot when you're on the court. I remember Cesar when I played him in uh, Mexico, I lost 12, 10 in the field, and said maybe six match ball. And it was probably because we we were in Mexico, but I think if we were in San Francisco, maybe I would win that match. <laughs> so this is important to our friends and family behind, and I'm so happy to have uh, Colleen and Philippe, they support me. And uh, even if she, if she has to prepare the, the match tomorrow, she came, she came to watch me, so uh, and, uh, I'm really um, happy about that. And, uh, I will come tomorrow, maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, you've been with us to compete in the Oracle NetSuite Open several times before. What do you like about San Francisco? I never played the glass ball to be <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm going to try to read the glass ball, but I have to beat my one minute show baggy today, so it's not going to be easy to be this. <laughs> but I try to do my best. I like the venue. And we'll be here for you. <laughs> I like the tournaments, and uh, you did a great job to, uh, to improve our, uh, our sport, and, uh, and we are so happy to, to, to play here. and. Uh, I would like to thank my billet, Gonzalo, he's French as well, and he, he supports me every year and uh, he gave me hospitality, so thanks for that, thanks for everything. Right. Well, congratulations and good luck with Mohamed and good luck with the tournament. Thank you, Castanet. That concludes this evening. We'll start tomorrow at noon here at the Bay Club. And we'll play the second half of the first round, the round of 32. And then proceed to work the round of 16 on Thursday. Quarterfinals on the glass on Friday. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your evening.